In this video, we will introduce Smart Energy Planning, a pilot software developed in collaboration with General Electric and the Institute for Technological Research SystemX, one of Europe's leading industry university collaborative projects. This application is targeting public authorities that are responsible for large investment projects and have to manage the energy transition. The objective is to help them understand how to design different energy policies, taking into account renewable energy sources and innovative grid technologies in order to improve energy infrastructure sustainability. Optimal planning of energy infrastructure and policies requires evaluating the impacts of different decisions on key performance indicators, such as citizen adoption rates, energy efficiency, greenhouse gas emissions, costs, and more. Cosmo and Smart Energy Planning enable cities to do just that, thanks to simulation-based predictive analytics. Here's how it works. Let's start a new simulation within Smart Energy Planning. This simulation will take into account the deployment of a heat network, as well as that of the photovolactic panels, and both will be coupled to provide our overall results at the city's level. As you can see, the app is integrated with an Esri interface. We are going to create a scenario focused on Alfordville, a city in the south of Paris. The software shows a pre-configured heat network, here in red, to be deployed in 2016, and all the houses and buildings that could potentially connect to it. Another part of the heat network is in grey, because it will only be deployed in 2021. The building's different colours represent their current energy mix. Let's have a look at the production site that supplies heat to this network, represented with the yellow beacon. We can configure it as already operational at the scenario start in 2016. It will produce biomass preferential supply source, have a maximum power of 5 megawatts, and a sourcing cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Now we'll configure a second production site, farther away with a service start date in 2021. It will be a controllable waste incinerator with a lower supply priority, a maximum power of 15 megawatts, and a slightly lower sourcing cost. Note that at all times we can always refer to the map key to check what different symbols signify. Thanks to these buttons on the left, for example, we can create either a new source of energy, a storage system, or new pipes to extend our heat network. That's what we'll do now by drawing new pipes connected to our second production site. They will be operational in 2021. The software automatically shows the eligible buildings to this new part of the network. Let's now have a look at the statistics to get a deeper understanding of the situation. Concerning the heat network, we can see the number of eligible buildings logically rising in 2021, along with the power supply and demand. Concerning photovolactic energy, in total here, we have 2,277 eligible houses. The application also takes into account behavioural models to simulate the adoption rate of new energy technologies by a city's citizens over time. To study this, in our scenario, we'll now fill in the adoption factors influencing the inhabitants of Alfordville, namely, in order of importance, cost, social influence, and personal preference, such as ecological concern, for example, and the population's occupational profile. As you can see, we can choose to analyze the deployment of the heat network and of the photovolactic panels either separately or together. Here we'll be interested in both, and we will first configure a few additional parameters regarding our heat network. Here is the sourcing cost forecast for both fuel, gas, and electricity, data that we uploaded beforehand. We estimated the average cost of subscription at 250 euros per building and the operator's margin on variable cost at 10%. Our scenario will also include photovolactic energy. So here we'll configure the level of sunlight, the evolving price of energy resale, the efficiency of photovolactic cells and the level of government aid for photovolactic to boost the adoption. Now that we have all the parameters configured, let's run the scenario and simulate the deployment and citizen adoption of both the heat network and photovolactic panels over time. Once the simulation is complete, 
We can visualise on the map the evolving energy mix of the buildings along the heat network. Logically, more and more buildings turn blue as they connect to the network over the years. The building turning red are those adopting the photovolactic panels. The detailed results are displayed on the right. We can see that the number of buildings connected to the heat network will regularly rise during the next 10 years. Heat network customer satisfaction will also rise after a short phase of disappointment, while the average cost per kilowatt hour will slowly decrease. Starting from 2021, the energy mix of the heat network will be divided between biomass and waste incinerator energy. We can also observe the evolution of demand and supply and visualize when there will be over or under production of heating energy. Concerning photovolactic energy, the number of equipped buildings will also increase, while the sale of photovolactic energy will become less and less profitable. Produced energy will of course increase, along with the number of equipped buildings. Now let's have a look at the overall city results. The overall energy mix repetition shows that gas will remain the major energy source all along our scenario. However, waste incinerator energy will gain importance over the years, while greenhouse gas emissions remain almost constant. Note that we can also visualize the results for a specific city area. Here we have the results for Alfredville Mary area, for example, and here for Diderot Louis Blanc. Armed with this information, we can decide how best to configure our energy networks so that we have both a high energy efficiency and a high rate of citizen satisfaction, while keeping costs and greenhouse gas emissions minimised. Smart energy planning transforms the ways city and urban energy stakeholders plan energy infrastructure and policies, brings clarity to even the most complex urban energy network issues, and empowers users to make the optimal decision every time. Welcome to Smart Energy Planning by Cosmo.